In this video, I will be discussing the foreign-owned stores in most black shopping districts. In every black shopping district, you will see a jeans and sneaker store, you will see a gold store, jewelry store, you will see a 99 cent store, and you will also see usually some cheesy electronic store. Um, and most of these stores are foreign-owned. And the business policy of these stores, 99% of the time, usually is you have to check your bags at the door. And this policy usually is because they're afraid you're going to, the, the black person is going to steal. Um, the other policies include following you around to make sure you don't steal anything again. And they have stuff locked up. They have stuff in, sometimes in cages. I remember one in Dr. J's I went to back in the 1990s on 3rd Avenue in the Bronx. They had Tommy Hilfiger shirts in a cage because they are so afraid of theft. And most of these stores, they charge usually every, anywhere from 33% to 50% higher than regular retail. And again, that's to cover their to prevent to cover themselves in case of a theft or just to gouge you. And the policies that these stores also include, including, in addition to following you around and making you check your bags at the door, is to scrutinize your cash. They will hold your money up in the air. And it's over, if it's spent over a $5 bill, it's usually held up in the air. And they want to make sure it's not counterfeit. They usually, because they think, oh, that Pookie and Ray Ray are going to come in and, counter, and pass some counterfeit bills off. And if you try to use a credit card, you have to have a state ID, even though state law tells you you don't need ID to, to present a credit card. And you can just forget about using a check there. And after you buy the merchandise, after all of this bad customer service, you're told that you can't return anything, you can't exchange anything. And this is even with a receipt. And you will be questioned, if you come back, you will be questioned, where did you get the receipt? Where did you get this from? And you couldn't have gotten it there or you just can't get a refund even though state law tells you you can get a refund for any product if it's defective if it's damaged not damaged but if it's defective or if it doesn't fit you can get a return it's anywhere but except these foreign owned stores which create their own laws and policies and the sad part is Negro will follow these laws and policies these unwritten laws and policies and not understanding that these policies are basically Jim Crow rewritten for the 21st century. I actually, they've been in for the last 40 years. That's the shopping in the African American community. This has been the unwritten rules. But they're basically Jim Crow rules that these foreigners impose on African American customers in stores. And the big problem with African American is that he thinks it's the only place he can go. He doesn't understand that there are alternatives. There are, there is, there are black owned stores, there are black owned businesses he can go to. And he doesn't have to put up with this customer service issue. The, the easiest solution to the whole problem is just not to shop at these type of places. But because he wants to have the LeBrons of the Air Jordans and the True Religion jeans before everyone else, he goes. He's so thirsty. He goes to these places and pays the 50%, the 33% markup on this merchandise, and he puts up with this poor customer service being followed around, being really losing. A lot of it happens because. All these males and females are young and there's no father in the home to teach them, hey, you don't shop here. You don't shop where you're being mistreated. You don't sh Racial profiling is not a part of business. And that your dollar has a value and that you have a value. And as a matter of fact, you are more valuable than, than the dollars and that the retailer has to work for your money. If they want your money, they're going to have to work for it. But in the Negro community, you're taught you just have to put up with stuff because they'll call the police on you. Not understanding that they can call the police all they want. You, what you can do is just walk out. You haven't bought anything. You don't put any money on the table. It's for them to work for your money. And if these foreign-owned stores um, want to treat you badly, they want to give you bad customer service, what you do is you walk out. You don't spend any money there. You don't need the Jordans. You don't need the, the Bronx. That you have more value than the, money, than the merchandise. Um, the big problem with the Negro is that he just puts everything above himself, and you are, and he doesn't understand that you are more valuable than merchandise. You are more valuable than clothes. You are more valuable than shoes. 
that your personal intangibles, such as your dignity and your self-respect, are more important than anything in the world. And that these intangibles are the most important thing that you could ever have. And you don't sacrifice them, you don't compromise them for anything. Because once you start compromising your dignity and your self-respect, you're pretty much done. And every dollar, uh, your dignity is worth more than a dollar, and your dignity is worth more than a pair of shoes. So, my feeling, I haven't shopped in one of these places since 1997 when I woke up. I mean, I woke up and realized that my, I was more valuable than money. And I don't need to shop at these type of places. And if there's a bag check policy, I just don't shop there. I don't go to that type of store. I feel that I'm going to vote with my dollar. My dollar is valuable, and I'm, I'm more valuable than a dollar. And if you want my money, you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to show me as a customer that you respect me and that you value me. So more people, more black people need to understand that you have a value as a customer. You're, you're the more important than your money. And if a, a business wants your money, they're going to have to work for that money. They can't give you substandard product and substandard services. They can't come at you with attitude. They can't become be hostile towards you. And that everything, every dollar you spend, they have to earn. And I feel like this, if I can find when it comes to business, I look for black owned businesses to shop at. I do I try my best to spend every dollar I earn with other black businesses. I want to make sure that I can flip those dollars, if possible, to another black person. For me, group economics is very important. And I feel it part helps in building a strong black community. I really, really, I haven't shopped, I try my best not to shop at foreign businesses, and I try to not to shop at businesses that offer poor customer service. Uh, if I see people following me around, or I see bag checks up at front, I don't shop at that store. I just turn around and walk the other way. I figure when this day and age with online ordering and online shopping, I can find another place to shop at. Um, that's all I have to say for this video, and comment, rate, and subscribe.